do, if these are your reasons for wanting to propose to that lady, if these are your reasons for wanting to say yes, I do to this guy, then don't do it. So if you're interested in this topic, do it. Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Obani Henshaw. So today we're going to be talking about reasons you shouldn't say I do. Now you can tell me, don't say I do. So if you're interested in this topic and you want to know what I have to say, stick around with me while we discuss. Marriage is a very serious institution. It's an institution that is meant to be for life. But now we have so many people cutting it at different points for very um, good reasons. I'm not going to blame anyone. So I want us to understand that marriage can make you, marriage can marry you. Marriage contributes a lot to what your life becomes afterwards. So if it is this sensitive, it is worth taking your time and not throwing caution to the wind. It is worth being careful and saying, yes, I do. I want to spend my life with you for the right reasons. So now let's go to the points and the reasons I've written down that shouldn't be your factor, the determining factor of you saying I do to someone. Now the first one here, and it's a very common one because of, let's say, peer pressure or where we find ourselves in the society. Don't say I do because all your friends are getting married. Mm -mm. Don't say I do to any person. Even if he's a man you've been dating, if you're not certain of him, don't say I do because all your friends are getting married. You know, back then in final year in pharmacy school, it was like a wave. We're just getting engaged. <laughs> like in final year, we're just getting engaged. Some of our class are already getting married. Now, is that enough reason for you to just maybe meet a guy or someone you're in a relationship? The truth is when you're in a relationship with somebody. You know the one that you can live with. You know the one that is worth this eternity journey with. Sometimes we just date to pass time, which is not, I'm not saying is the right reason, but if we accept it, most of us know that most of the people we are with now, we are not sure we want to end up with them. So now, why would you now go ahead and say I do? Because all your friends are getting engaged. So that guy that you know in your deepest of deepest hearts, that you can't stay with him, you just say I do to him. Don't say I do to someone because all your friends are getting married, okay? Or all your clique are getting married. Say I do to that person that you know is worth it. Marriage is a serious commitment. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, that's it for the first point. Now, the second point is, don't say I do because you're told that you're getting old. Mm. It's not easy. I know the sisters face this a lot in this part of the society where we find ourselves. Don't be pressurized to getting married. Yes, I know we all want to get married in our 20s, but the truth is, it doesn't happen like that for everyone. If you're blessed to be married in your 20s, praise God. If you are not with someone or you've not met the right person, my sister, even if you're 30 or more, don't feel pressured because you're going to be in that marriage alone people are going to come and eat your rice and dance with you but you would be the one in that marriage so if you're entering marriage shouldn't be entered when you're not sure i'm not sure oh, but he's rich quite he's handsome or she's beautiful now she's this when you're saying i do when you're entering into this commitment called marriage you have to be sure praise god praise god so don't you get married because you're feeling you're getting too old so any guy just walks in and you say i do to him no say i do because you're ready for it praise god amen now the third reason you shouldn't say i do don't say i do because you two have been together for a long time if you or if you are obviously not compatible don't proceed to marriage there's this thing that a broken relationship is better than a broken marriage, a broken engagement, a broken whatever, it's better than a broken marriage. Now, you are dating someone. You have pending issues that you know are hazardous to people staying together. Let's say he beats you. Or let's say she obviously can do, can stick to one man. You know you two cannot just be together. Or there are other things you can take. Maybe your communication is at the zero level. Why are you saying I do? Why are you asking her to marry you? Why are you saying I do to him? When you're not his priority? When he doesn't treat you right? No matter how long, even if it's 10 years, 
and you know in your deepest of hearts that it's leading to nowhere, it's not healthy, don't say I do. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Okay? Now, <laughs> the fourth point here. Don't say I do because you think you won't find Mr. Right. <laughs> Praise God. Don't say I do. Now, I also, this point was given to me by my colleague and I really want to read it. Well, Pam Kingsley, thank you so much for this contribution to this video. Mm, God bless you. Now, he said something. He said, I know that there is a man for every woman. The same with Visa Beats. There's a man for every woman. There's a woman for every man. So get ready. We should make ourselves the person that will fit the picture of the spouse we need. Praise God. Just like food. He used this illustration and I loved it. Now, when you're cooking... You test, right? You test, but you won't carry the pot that is still cooking. Maybe everything is still fresh to serve the table, right? Good. Now let's picture marriage as that finished food, well prepared, garnished, and served. Now we need to prepare ourselves to attract the kind of man we want, to attract the kind of woman we want. Now the problem is that most of us are in a relationship with good people, but they are actually not the kind of person you want to settle down with. She might be very pretty, he might be very handsome, but some things are missing. Now, as a good woman or as a young girl, you need a decent, responsible man. You need to start preparing yourself to fit him when he comes. Praise God. And same as to the men. You need a responsible lady, you need a responsible, beautiful, level-headed lady. You need to make yourself the woman that deserves that woman. Praise God. So in long and short of it, the summary of this video is just to encourage us to say I do for the right reasons. Because trust me, marriage comes with a whole lot. A whole lot. And you want, it's more like a partnership, a relationship, everything all together. You want to be in this with someone that you can do it to the end. Someone that is what the time, what the sacrifices, and what everything. So thank you so much for sticking around with me in this video. I hope you learned something. So till next time, I remember.